I pledge allegiance to Adolf Hitler. I pledge allegiance to Adolf Hitler. Hey, what's going on? Ah, those bums won their court case, so they're marching today. What bums? The fucking Nazi party. Illinois Nazis. I hate Illinois Nazis. <laughs> Shy motherfuckers, I am your host, The Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. You motherfuckers, I was here March 4th, April 15th, April 27th. We were in your stupid asses out of the fucking Berkeley. Nazis, I hate these guys. As many of you motherfuckers know, this lumpy cock tumor to my right was turned into a bit of a D list celebrity by the scum sucking corporate media who found his clean-cut Brooks Brothers brand of fascism so interesting that they gave him a massive fucking platform to spew his retro dystopian dreams of a whitey white world. Oh, and because of this. We've entered this new world where the leftist protesters so, since we don't want to give this human punching bag the further honor of gracing the fucking news, he will now be known as Dick Sphincter, and his face will never appear on screen, except in the way you see it now. Ah! Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh my god! Oh, that is disgusting! <laughs> so, unless you've been trapped in an elevator all week with no bars, you know that Rich... We do not speak his name. Sorry. Dick Sphincter spoke at Michigan State University this past Monday after his litigious fanboy turned booking agent Cameron Paget sued MSU on free speech grounds. MSU begrudgingly agreed to allow Mr. Sphincter to speak, but only if he did so about a mile away from the main campus on the university's pavilion for livestock education, a place known to host all sorts of bullshit. All right, be an asshole. Yeah, yeah, I know, that fucking sucked. Anyway, attendance to the event was around what you might expect at a Louisville, Kentucky stop of a Jonas Brothers reunion tour. Our guys are not here because of chaos outside. Sure, the old, no one came to my talk because there was an Antifa riot excuse. But even with all the months of preparation and all the money these fuckers seem to have, this is the best security team that the young anus hisser could come up with? Anywho, to get to the bottom of this failure, I decided to talk to Matt Hindlegs, founding member of the TWP or Turt Wankers Party. Hey Matt, how the fuck are you? All of us are fine. Didn't see you fuckers on the Periscope stream. If you were there to support your buddy, why weren't you in the livestock pavilion? The nationalists will not be cowed. Even though you come from different fashy crews, you all seem to be pretty fucking tight. I saw that when shit was popping off, that prepubescent Nazi to your left with the whack hand tats was passionately hugging a member of the National Pedophile Institute to protect him from Antifa. But pretty soon the same dapper MPI was running for protection behind police lines. What the fuck happened? The radical left, as usual, as always, decided to attack us very, very effectively. So, based on this latest setback, you'll have any plans to call it quits anytime soon? Our march to victory is one that will continue until we get total victory over you, over your Jewish paymasters. But as it turns out, our so-called Jewish paymasters are a bit tapped out, funding the whole deep state Russia hoax these days. So for information on how to help support the bail fund of homies who were arrested at this action, look for a link in the description below the video. You've seen this beautiful gentrification and a whole bunch of small businesses popping up and the entrepreneurial spirit and the artists coming back to Hamilton. In other fucking news on Saturday night in Hamilton, Ontario, a swarm of black clad shit disturbers rampaged through a bougie shopping district, smashing up a bunch of yuppie businesses and scaring the Grey Poupon out of their upscale patrons. It's just like terrible. And you know, I just wonder what 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 are they thinking? Police estimate the damage could be anywhere around one hundred thousand dollars. One of the worst hit was a local artisanal donut shop. <laughs> And it wasn't just the pigs who were upset about having to settle for regular Boston creams for the next little bit. Andrea Horvath, the leader of the feckless Ontario NDP opposition, 
tweeted out during the fracas that she was extremely concerned and suggested designating this upcoming Saturday as a day for local residents to celebrate their love of the area by shopping there. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. But jumping entrepreneurs and so-called progressive politicians are not alone in trying to almond milk the situation. Far-right groups, including the Proud Boys and the Canadian Combat Coalition, have also announced plans to hold a so-called Patriot Walk on the vandalism-stricken promenade, maybe after a hard day of shouting about Antifa <laughs> and the dangers of Sharia law, they can grab some organic butterscotch scones with their new buds. And me, no matter how they toss the dice, it had to be the only one for me is you and you for me. So happy together. Block Street has everything. I'll see you at the festival. You don't even know what side you're fighting for. Both groups have come together over the hatred of local anarchist social center, the Tower which has been facing a deluge of online threats and several physical attacks in the space, including this one, which took place on Wednesday in Traster Radical Library. But peeps at the tower are holding strong and have announced plans to fix up and fortify the building. I can say from personal experience that this is one of the best radical social centers in Canada. So if you have some extra Skrilla, please show them some love by helping with renovation costs at d-tower.ca slash fundraising. And that's all the fucking news for this week. I'll be taking a couple of weeks off as those fuckers at Submedia work on the next trouble. In the meantime, don't forget to support my raging taco habit at sub.media slash donate. And check me out on all your favorite corporate brainwashing and mass surveillance platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.